The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. The first city deal in Australia was the Townsville City Deal. Federal, state and local authorities have joined together in creating a plan of development. And one of the elements of the Townsville City Deal is the health and knowledge strategy. And a consequence of that strategy, we, we in this case meaning James Cook University and Townsville Health and Hospital Services and the Townsville City Council, have resolved to create a health and knowledge precinct of world renown that we call TropIQ. We think, we believe, we are leading in the fields of tropical disease and marine science and we can see an opportunity to really make this thing in, in much more than just a regional or even national sense, in an international sense. Townsville is a polycentric city. It has its old original centre, which was a CBD, which is where the port is, but it also has a series of productive precincts where the employment bases are. Where I'm talking to you from here in Douglas, with the university and the hospital and the military, it's actually the largest employment base of the city. So we were quite pleased to discover that um, there's an opportunity to, to link it back to the centre of the city through this thing that we call Smart Link. The cluster of retail and public facilities that exist between here and the CBD you can see that there's a sense, well, why wouldn't we connect this stuff up? So what the Smart Link and or Trackless Tram can do for us is to create a point of access back into the city that currently doesn't exist. We've recently built a new stadium in the city. The city has um, significant plans to redevelop along the foreshore. But how do you get there? And if we continue to have only private transport as the way, you know, congestion will be the order of the day. It's certainly true that we already have a measure of public transport, but people are voting with their feet, they're avoiding it. We do survey our students through the International Student Barometer. We know that despite us being well regarded in terms of our offering, Townsville, Townsville ranks last in the country with respect to perceptions, and not perceptions, but actual experience of public transport. But we do believe that there's an opportunity through the SBE project to move us to the next plane, to the next kind of technology, to leapfrog a generation of past practice. And that will enable us as a university to have yet another tool to market ourselves. Due to the involvement of the state and federal people in the city deal process, we became aware of the SBE research project, which was looking to define alternative next generation public transport approaches for connections such as our Townsville Smart Link. And we were quite excited to discover that some of those approaches um, cost a lot less. We were delighted to discover that SBE were actually doing case studies around the country of different places where such technology could be applied. And we immediately said, let's do this for Townsville. So the city of Townsville, uh, the Townsville Health and Hospital Services and the university have joined together and we have sponsored the work which is being done by academics from Curtin and Griffith Universities towards an inquiry into, well, just how suitable is our corridor for next generation public transport. The people inside the Townsville Case Study Project have really brought it to life and we're so excited with our Queensland State Department colleagues from the Department of Housing and Public Works and the Department of Transport and Main Roads to be creating a document that enables that group to move forward in considering technology as a breakthrough for unlocking the development potential of that area. As part of the larger project team, this particular case study has provided us with an opportunity to consider the stakeholder perspectives on the issue of shifting from one form of transport to another. And it's been really great to bring together those perspectives in the common language that everyone can relate to, to help those conversations move forward under city deals. One of the key findings is around the value uplift potential of the corridor that we've been exploring, which we've determined to be in the order of 
And when you're looking at a region that has been grappling with some pretty significant challenges around economic development, climate related uh, disturbances and disruptions, that 6% could mean the difference between things remaining as they are with a fairly high unemployment level and a community that really wants change to unlocking that potential for urban development that brings vibrance, vitality and enthusiasm amongst the community for what can happen along that corridor between the waterfront and the army barracks, the knowledge health precinct and the university.